Joe Lavac is undergoing cornea transplant surgery in both of his eyes. How are you doing? Good, Dr. Valley. How are you? His vision had been deteriorating significantly over the past few years. Good. And blink? At first, I just thought I needed more new glasses. But it wasn't that, it was the, the, the cornea itself. The cornea is the clear window. The cornea is the clear dome-shaped surface area of the eye that allows us to focus. It can be damaged for many reasons, including ingrown blood vessels, trauma to the eye, or in Joe's case, a hereditary condition that causes swelling of the innermost layer of corneal tissue. The problem that Joe has is typically one that is fairly slowly progressive. The first problem that patients would have would be difficulty reading and then difficulty seeing well enough to drive, and then they lose their independence. If I didn't have the surgery, eventually they would get worse that I couldn't see. Cornea transplant is the most common transplant operation in the country. About 40,000 cornea transplants are performed every year. But the techniques and technology are changing. Instead of replacing Joe's entire cornea, Dr. Adolvi uses a newer, minimally invasive technique. Traditionally, corneal transplants involved replacing the entire thickness of the cornea, uh, regardless of whether the disease was in the middle of the cornea or on the inside layer of the cornea. Lately, new techniques have been developed such that we can selectively replace the layer of the cornea that's diseased. The advantage of that is you can decrease the rejection risk after surgery and give patients quicker recovery of vision. Dr. Adolvi slips the thin layer of healthy donor tissue into an elegant delivery device and Joe's diseased layer of cornea tissue that was thinner than a human hair is replaced. So being able to retain the patient's own cornea but just replace only the very thin diseased layer uh, gives the patient a, you can do it through a smaller incision and with that like laparoscopic surgery quicker visual recovery, less discomfort, etc. Three weeks after surgery, Joe's vision is improving, and he is looking forward to getting back to his active life. Looks perfect. It's a lot clearer, and it's a lot brighter. I have a lot more light. I see a lot more light now than I did before. We can now really uh, tailor our therapy to the patient's disease. It's no longer one size fits all. Um, and with the ability to do that, we can we are raising the expectations both on the part of the physician as well as the patient regarding outcomes. We're getting patients back to their normal lives more quickly and we're now able to restore sight to patients who even 10 years ago were told there'd be nothing that could be done to improve their vision. And I'm fairly, I'm not that old yet. Uh, I didn't want to have to, you know, uh, sit on the sidelines. So this was a good thing for me to do.